Welcome to Extreme Excel Solutions. In this video, we're gonna show you another technique of making a report more interactive. Uh, but this time, we're gonna show you how to use one chart area to sh uh, represent multiple charts, and user will be able to mouse over on the selection, and he will see the respective chart. So if you look at the data, so I've kept the data in sheet 2. So I have monthly data for um, for the videos which are being watched on my YouTube channel and the number of visitors and the bounce rate and this is the total. So I have made three sections. One is for minutes watched, second is for visitors and third is for bounce rate. As I mouse over to any selection, the background color of those cells get changed and you can see here the chart corresponding to that is uh, reflected here. So if I come back here to mon uh, minute, minutes watched, you will see as I mouse over to it and I go back to sheet 2, this cell I am using, this column I am using for pulling data which I am showing in the chart and as, as I change the selection what happens the values in these uh, cells changes and therefore the uh, chart so I'll show you how to create uh, this report so this is my data so I'm co copying this data to a new sheet so sheet 2 of let's say workbook so this is the data right and I want to create a chart from this data so basically what I'll be doing here is let's first create a, the headers so if you look here again so first one is minutes watched and then uh, the count and this is again the static text and this is something which is coming from formulas so I'm copying this at these headers then I need the count so let's first merge these three cells yeah here we'll be showing you the count so the count is coming from the total so this value will appear here so equals sheet 2 and this reference similarly next cell and this thing let's change the formatting yeah let's look nice and then again a uh, static text let's again merge these cells and whatever I've written here then again I need one more uh, cell for showing you this arrow and basically this is the hyperlink so I have kept the hyperlink here so I'll be using a hyperlink function to uh, make the action basically when I mouse over or click on this cell what will happen the value of the header will go in this cell will be copied in this cell and based on the value I'll do a lookup in these cells or this array and uh, fetch the values corresponding to that column only so the first action would be uh, first of all I need to have this header 
uh, as I mouse over on this cell or any cell so um, we need to create a function here so I need a function which can copy the values to, to sheet 2 so function in the name of function let's say copy data or copy header and just provide the range which you are selecting so uh, range as this and once I pass a range to it basically uh, I'll be clicking on this cell so I'll be passing uh, uh, the range of this cell uh, as I'll be using hyperlink I'll show you later so basically uh, sheet once I send the range to it so it just need to uh, set that range value uh, in sheet 2 so sheet 2 but I need to see the uh, the cell where I want to copy this value so let's say I want to copy or paste this value here in h5 so sheet 2 dot range h5 dot value should be equal to uh, range dot value yep and here in this cell uh, copy header is the function name so I'll be using copy header and uh, I need to change the format to let's say this so copy headers and then pass the range let's say I pass this range to it so as I pass this range what will happen mm, let's hyperlink link location is which this cell and this is the hyperlink text and if there is error then anything okay so it is showing you six here and Basically, I'm changing the uh, format uh, here, font to uh, this format so that it will show you an arrow here. Okay, so now if you click on this, what will happen? Uh, if you click on this, it will um, paste the value of this cell in sheet 2 here. Okay, similarly, if I copy this to other two cells, and if I click on this you'll see visitors should be there yeah visitors is there and if I click on this bounce rate should be there exactly it is working like that so now what I need to do here is I just need to uh, pull the values of that that column based on the value of this cell so I'll just uh, apply the formula here so uh, based on this value I just need to copy the values or get the values of that column and then these cells or the, this range so I'll use the formula index and I'll provide the array um, before that I need to know the number so I'll be using match and index okay so is equal to match let's put it in somewhere in any other cell so here match uh, this is the value which I'm looking for and this is the lookup array 
and make it exact search so bounce it I'm getting free if it is visitors let's see what it shows so if I copy directly it is showing two and if it is minutes was it shows one so this is fine now based on this index now match uh, number I need to pull the values of this so I'll be using the combination of math and index okay so is equal to index and this is my array right and the row number is coming from this match uh, no, so the row number is same so leave it blank and the column number is coming from this okay so similarly mm -mm -mm, so I need to make a fixed reference so that I can easily drag and drop this formula copy and drag it till down uh, H5 H5 is not enough I need to this is so yeah this looks perfect now uh, you can see all the values are coming basically you are putting h4 here instead of that you can combine math and index so just copy this and And put the match here. So, so I'll rewrite it match. Hmm, what I was looking for, I was looking for this and this range, and I was doing the exact search. Yep, and copy this formula till down. Hmm. Looking for F4, F4, F4. Copy, paste. Yeah. So in one formula, now you have uh, right value. So now, uh, if you go back to sheet uh, one and if you click on visitors, you will see the data for visitors is there. So 34 and it ends with 1349. This is okay. And if you click on bounce rate, you will see bounce rate is here and it shows the values of bounce rate only. Okay, so now we are ready to prepare the chart, right? So let's first um, add a border to it to make it look nice. And change the background color. So um, now I need to prepare the chart. So just uh, select the area. And insert the chart here. So simple chart. Let's cut it and paste it here. right and I don't want this here so I've deleted it and one more thing and if I manually change the uh, background of this chart to fill with a solid color and color of your choice
the map plot area, solid fill, same, okay, and for bars, change the map data series, fill, solid fill, color, okay. Yeah, so now if you click on the values, you will see the chart is changing, right? And you can see here minute cost, visitors, and bounce rates. And you have seen this value here because you are changing the header every time. So as the header changes, it appears in that graph. Right? One thing is left. Uh, as I make the selection, I want it only that uh, tab should be highlighted. And the rest of the tabs should have same color. So if I map paint this to all the cells, let's take, uh, I just need to change the background color, so, yeah, I made the, the background color same for all, let's create the borders, yeah, and then I need to add some conditional formatting here. So add a new rule which will be doing something on the basis of formula if the value of B3 of this cell is equal to H5 of C2. Right? So, so uh, I, I cannot uh, put uh, uh, two different sheets while I'm using uh, conditional formatting so let's say I'm pulling the value of h5 directly on that sheet okay and I'll be hiding this from user but let's say for now I'm just changing its pattern color or text color so that user may not be able to see it but I'll be using this value in the formulas so I'll go to conditional formatting add a new rule and based on formula I'll be using this is l1 right so if the uh, value of p Three is equal to uh, L1 then change the format of this and change the background color to this and font color to white ok Set it. Go back to manage rules. See, oh, there is one mistake. We apply it to range L1. This is not correct. We need to apply this to range uh, B3 till B6. Right? So, B3 till B6. Now, still not working. Need to see the value here. Minute cost. Uh, conditional formatting. Manage rules. Um, for complete worksheet. If value of B5, okay. That's it. B5, not B5, it should be B3. B3 is equal to L1 this is correct then change the color of B6 right so now it is working perfectly but it is not working for other two cells because I have not added any conditional formatting for it right so I'll be adding more rules here so just go to new rule add similarly uh, the rule for E1 E3 and then for H3 same rules and it will work similarly yeah in the way which is working right this is it for uh, this interactive report you can create uh, more such reports you can add more features to it it, it is just about graphs uh, and you can add uh, rest of the features as well we, uh, like the uh, those which I have shown in my previous tutorials uh, if you have something in terms of rating and kind of other stuff right so keep watching our channel keep watching our videos 
uh, thank you